morning and welcome to today's products and focus. Well, I guess part, most of the news that's going to be felt right uh, today is going to be um, Thursday's incoming ECB uh, meeting and whether or not they're going to have their announcement of QE. I guess uh, many traders are already betting that is the case. That's why we're seeing a still a little bit of a slide on your on your dollar, uh, and a lot of uh, European equity markets are quite well supported. The question is, if they do do it, will it be 500 billion or will it be one trillion? Will it be less? Will it be more? With um, most um, analysts probably erring the side of caution, think the ECB aren't going to jump the gun right away, especially with a lot of the German banks, uh, the German government, sorry, are not very keen on too much Q QE. But nevertheless, the US market has not done too much following on from Martin Luther King Day on Monday. Um, lots of, uh, quite a lot of volatility, incidentally, bouncing between 17.546 and 17.361. Uh, Thursday does come with it, uh, a whole host of data, uh, some American, mainly European incidentally, so that's probably where most of the action is. Interestingly, we're quite close to get a, a death cross on the moving averages. The MACD has crossed the zero line, whereas most other technicals are quite neutral as well. So having a quick look at the UK 100, you can see there that we are approaching 66.86. Decent day yesterday, uh, decent bounce of uh, 65.89. We are a little bit down today, ever so slightly on the wrong side of the line. Looking at the Germany 30, you can see there that it's uh, moving in a little bit of a sideways moving action. Well, you can see it's on my intraday charts on my other side right here, um, but it's relatively flat as well. So Japan to do five, down a little bit today as Bank of Japan did not expand their stimulus package, uh, which was widely expected actually by the market. And we've seen a decent uh, turnaround in dollar yen. Um, overnight as the yen's increased, uh, increased in strength, so they didn't do any more stimulus, so it added extra strength to Japanese yen. It's not that risk, uh, risk gone has fully gone, gone, gone crazy, but um, people are buying the yen, not necessarily as a safe haven today, but just purely because the Bank of Japan did not do that, uh, did not uh, implement more stimulus last night. So looking at dollar yen, you can see that a bearish engulfing pattern that's currently in play, coming up close to death cross and moving averages, not quite there yet. We actually have a fantastic end to the session, only for it to, uh, to come off uh, quite aggressively uh, later on in the session. Uh, 17 uh, spot 36, the potential support. We've already had a little bounce off there this morning, uh, but it has come off over, over 100 points since the news came out. So moving on to Crude Oil West Texas, bad day yesterday, uh, dropping quite, quite, quite a few percent. Um, still targeting, well, you can actually just see right here, we are on the, if, we, if we look at the potential support, short-term support around about 67. We're on the wrong side of that line right now. So we've got to be looking at uh, $44 as being the next potential support level to be aware of on crude. So moving on to gold, gold is in its uh, golden apex right now. So it's broken through $1,300 uh, as people start to buy gold to hedge against the EC any ECB movement. Uh, arguably, you could be looking at uh, 13 21 as a next level of potential support. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of some of these other support levels just to clean the whole process up that little bit more and maybe keep those other levels on there for now. Uh, as you can probably figure, you would be looking at uh, 1345 should uh, the levels continue to break. Got a bit of a doji formation right now, but we had a very uh, strong close last night. We're not quite following through there today with a lot of vigor, but there is a lot of potential for this to still move a little bit higher, especially should the uh, should the ECB uh, embark on quite a large amount of quantitative easing, people might look at gold as well. <laughs> Equities will be good, euro dollar will go down, depending on how much uh, QE you have it here. Uh, I think the market's already pricing in around about 500 billion, but it will still move because then there's an absolute confirmation if that happens. But if it's more than 500 billion, uh, your dollar might, uh, the move might be exacerbated. It's still consolidating a little bit around 1 spot 1642, which is potential resistance now. Uh, it's not been doing a huge amount in the last couple of sessions, but we're so far away from any potential uh, next support level. Uh, that I think that's probably why we're hugging this uh, potential resistance level because it's just so far away from anything else of any significance. So finishing up with GBP USD, uh, again bouncing around 1 spot 51. 85. Can't imagine there's going to be a huge amount happening today, uh, mainly because it's all about Thursday. So uh, we do have unemployment claims at, at 9.30 in the UK. Uh, can't imagine that's going to move the markets that significantly, uh, but it's all about Thursday. So remember, you've got uh, German PMI, you've got UK public uh, finances, you've got um, the CBI in the UK. You've also got the ECB meeting. Uh, you've got US unemployment claims, you've got Eurozone CPI, and you've got crude oil inventories. So you couple that all together with um, 
potential QE Thursday is basically when everything's all going to go down. And if we fast forward onto Friday, uh, big PMI data from right across, uh, from almost every aspect. So you've got China, Germany, uh, the Eurozone, uh, and then you've got retail sales from the UK finishing up with existing home sales in the US. So Thursday was obviously the biggest day, but Friday still has uh, a lot of juice left in it as well. So keep your eye on the chart forum. You've got Michael and Jasper here adding a whole host of technical trade setups regularly throughout the day. So this is very, very good to have a look at. If you click on view chart analysis, for example, uh, it will actually load up a chart with, uh, with Michael's analysis already drawn on there for you. Do make sure you get a chance to have a look at that and read a synopsis. Some very interesting... Um, TA to, to be aware of and make sure you, you keep on making insights part of your layout to get the inside track from our global team as to what's moving the markets today and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.